um, a pair of narrow parallel slits separated by a distance of 0.25 millimeters. Of the D is equal to 0 0.250 millimeters. Are eliminated by the green component from a mercury vapor lamp. Um, wavelength is 546.1 nanometers. Uh, the wavelength is 546.1 nanometers. Calculate the angle from the central maximum to the first bright fringe on either side of the central maximum. So we're looking for um, theta where n equals plus or minus 1. Usually we just talk about the positive side because we don't need to talk about both sides. So it's m equals positive 1. So we know the slit separate, separation, we know the wavelength, we know we're looking for the angle, and we know the order number is 1. Which of the two equations are we going to use, Lily, and what? Why are we going to use this equation? Okay. Ah, never a good answer. Duval, read the equation or read the problem for her again. Uh, a pair of narrow parallel sites separated by a distance of 0.25 millimeters are eliminated by the green component from a mercury vapor lamp um, wavelength equals 546.1 nanometers. Calculate the angle from the central maximum to the first bright fringe on either side of the central maximum. Because we're talking about a bright fringe, which is constructive interference, this is the equation for a bright fringe for constructive interference. We have all the information, we just need to rearrange it. Sine of theta equals the order number times the wavelength divided by the slit separation, therefore theta equals m, or I'm sorry, the inverse of sine of the order number times the wavelength divided by the slit separation. Please give me all the numbers, Charlotte. The same dimensions. The easiest way to do this is just convert to meters. So we'll do 546.1 times 10 to the negative 9 meters and 0 0.250 times 10 to the negative 3 meters. Times 10 to the negative 9 times 10 to the negative 3 theta. Should I have a little bit more? 0 0.12. 157. Okay, what are the dimensions on this, please? Puja. Degrees. So theta is equal to 0 0.125 degrees. 0 0.125 degrees. Does that seem small? Yeah. Yes, it does. So let's review. If you recall, this is the angle between the normal from the uh, slits to the ray. Now, with the example I did in class, we had this illuminated on the board, but that is actually zoomed in. On the board, the distance between the central maximum and the first order bright fringe was probably a centimeter. And the distance from the um, 
the slits to the wall was maybe three meters. So do you see how that's going to be a small angle? It's going to be a pretty small angle. Well, that's okay. It just works out to be a small angle. It's 